Hey, what's up? My name is Tackless, and today we're going to be looking at another Boss Fight Project Spark tutorial. This episode, we're going to be looking at how to adjust their health, um, display their health, how to have regeneration, and how to have other things regenerate their health. So, let's get started. First, we need to make a tweak to our boss. This way, other objects can target him in every form of his, um, every time he spawns. If you were here for a previous tutorial, the way that we're spawning our boss is via template. So uh, we're having to make him an object into an object variable. So I'm going to name this variable knight. There we go. Now I know this is an easy tutorial, so don't freak out. But um, this is going to make our lives a lot simpler in the future. Now he can be identified anywhere as a global knight every time he spawned. Next, we're going to give him um, a health bar above his head. So when detect player, I'm going to display meter of health above. And uh, let's make it blue. I can never get to the blue panel. We need to move the blue, it looks like. There we go. Now it's happy. The color tile is always kind of finicky. And this is more of a personal, but we're also going to give it a number. Display health above. There we go. As a number. Now, the boss has a maximum of 500 health. But for the sake of the tutorial, I've lowered his starting health down to 100, so he's easy to kill. But it only shows 100 health on the meter because all meters default to 100. So we'll need to tweak that. But if I hit him, everything adjusts accordingly. Now, if you notice, if you can read that number, I can do a staggering amount of damage to him. So we're going to have to... Make sure that when he regenerates, it is a ton of health to keep him ahead of the game. So what we're going to do is we're going to have max. And now we need to scroll through seven pages of numbers to get to 500. 500. There we go. Now, this may not be necessary if your boss uh, has 100 health. But if they have more than 100 health, you'll need to add this little line right here to get their health bar all the way up to maximum. Next, let's see, we're going to look at personal health regeneration so that this boss regenerates his own health. So countdown timer, a one loop. Now mind you, this isn't actually going to regenerate his health 10 times a second. I'm doing this so that it regenerates as many times as it can, but the heal property doesn't work quite that fast. So I'm going to do heal and I have balanced it out just enough so that three is about the sweet spot. Killable but manageable. Uh, five is absolutely brutal, gnarly difficult even with a normal enemy brain. So let's give this a shot. Three is pretty good. I'm going to switch to my good sword, pull out my shield because it's go time. Oh, ignore SOS. When he spawns, he's going to be regenerating health right away, so I got to get on him. Now, let's say I want to run away from him for a little bit. Not being aggressive is going to cost me now, because now he's back to full health. And let's say that his attack did enough damage that I really, really do want to avoid getting hit, because his, his attack really doesn't do much. Then, um... His health would be much harder to lower because I have to keep stopping and blocking or stopping and jumping away. But since I don't care too much about his health, I'm just going to kill him. But even just a 100 health boss suddenly becomes an ordeal with a little bit of health regeneration. There we go. Now that's all fine, but really that just that's just a test of endurance. Can you out-endure his regeneration? Let's get better than that. I'm going to remove that line of code that I made him regenerate. And I'm going to grab this statue. It doesn't have to be a statue. But 
I have a freaky cool looking statue here. I'm gonna go into its properties, go down to combat, go under health and defenses, turn invulnerable off, and 100 health looks about right. Now let's go into his brain. And what we're gonna do is we're going to move the regeneration into this guy. So every 0.1 seconds loop, we're going to heal. This is where the variable comes important. Global, don't forget the global tile or else it won't know. Global night. Should have around here. Oh, no, I'm under Boolean. I need to be under object. I'm way too used to looking at Boolean. My bad. Night. And because I want him to be nearly impossible to kill until you've uh, destroyed the statue, he's going to get 10 health back, which is pretty freaky. Now, we also want to give the player a clue that this uh, statue is up to some shenanigans. So we're going to play effect. I'm going to grab sparkle. It's a good quiet effect. But sparkle is a little bit too small, so we're going to have to scale this bad boy up to two. Lastly, we want the player to know how much health or how much damage he has inflicted to the statue while not giving away that the statue has um, can be destroyed until it takes a hit. So what we're going to do is when health greater than or equal to 99 because he has 100 health right now, so when he takes one hit, this will activate. Now we need to make a child line of code. You make a new line of code, select the number, bump it to the right. Now this line of code won't activate until this line of code is met. So now when, actually no, no, you don't do that. I remembered that was a little bit buggy for me earlier, so I'm gonna avoid that. This is going to just permanently display a health bar so that you know and you always know that there is, um, the statue can be destroyed. So, I'm going to display meter health, and because he's a statue, he's going to get gray above. Nope, oh, above. And there we go. That looks about right, don't you think? Now, I would not recommend having that fierce of regeneration. If he's if his starting health is gonna be less than his maximum health, but that's how it's working here. So if you watch his health, it's going up really painfully, absurdly fast. Attacking as fast as I can, I can barely keep up with it at all. Getting a little bit of ground on it, but it's it's just not working out. Now it looks like. Oh, I realized what I did. I was about to say, why is this health bar showing? But I realized that I put the greater than, not the less than tile. So we'll just kill this guy. And as you see, his health bar disappeared because I got the greater than wrong. It disappears. And look, he's no longer regenerating. This is a good way to have a boss fight, like an end game boss fight, to make him appear much more powerful than he actually is. Um, so let's go back and fix that. Because since I make these tutorials live, I occasionally make mistakes. It's not an excuse, it's just what happens. So less than or equal to 99. Let's run back in there. Poof. See? No health bar until one hit. Now it's a health bar. If I can line this upright, I can hit them both at the same time. There we go. Now you might want to make an effect when it's destroyed, but that's up to you. So, I hope this was helpful. That's a couple tips on how to make a fun, cool boss fight. Um, thanks for watching. If you have any requests related to a boss fight video or a boss fight tutorial, please let me know in the comments. If you have a request for something else, let me know. I just had a request for a soccer game arena which I made and posted online. And I've also posted that world on my Project Spark. 
so you can go and check out and play some soccer or football or punch ball or whatever you want to call it. Um, my next video that I'm planning to do that's not related to bosses is the mining, which if you don't remember the mining, you run over here, you pick up this wonderful pickaxe, you go into these caves and you see all these crazy looking ore pieces. You can break the ore. You get ore and whatnot, and you can craft it and go from there. So, I'm not going to go into detail here, but we're going to go over that very soon. So, thanks for watching. I will see you.